So that was just one of the hot races we'll be watching on election night. For Congress, though, Pete Sessions versus Colin Allred could be close. And locally here, the Dallas District Attorney's race could go into the night on election night as well. Let's go to Austin now to talk to Ross Ramsey, the co-founder and executive editor of the Texas Tribune. Good morning to you, Ross. Hi, how are you? Not bad. What other races are you watching uh, statewide here that could be hot? You know, the statewide focus really is on Dallas County. It's kind of interesting. There are five or six House races up there. The Rinaldi Johnson race is one of them where Republicans are holding seats in what's become a blue county. And those are on the trouble list for Republicans and on the hopeful list for Democrats. There's also the Don Huffines race for Senate, his um, reelect race against Nathan Johnson. You mentioned the Sessions race. There's a lot going on in Dallas County that's going to affect what happens in Austin next session. And you heard that lively debate in your earpiece there. You know about the other races you mentioned. Any predictions? I, I did. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm not going to make a prediction, but it's a tough race. It's a very tight one, and you can tell that both of them are fighting for last-minute votes. Let's talk now to the perils about uh, joking about sexuality. Republican State Rep. Uh, Pat Fallon from Prosper had to apologize to one of his House colleagues after making a remark the other day. He was in Wichita Falls, which is part of his new Senate district, uh, and talking about Mary Gonzalez, who is a state representative from Clint outside of El Paso, who is a pansexual. And he said, there's something called pansexual now. I don't even know what that is. Suffice to say, secure your cookware. Uh, after that was reported, um, he called Gonzalez, apologized to her. She said she accepted the apologize. Kind of a flap about that, but a cautionary note for politicians talking on the road. Yeah, and is there really any political fallout from that based on what he said? I mean, he, he kind of was on the offense. I, he, he apologized very quickly, and I think he probably uh, moved it before it you know, became a political issue. He's not in a particularly tough race, neither is she, so I think this one goes by. Gotcha. Ross, back to you in just a moment. Thank you.